Arena has a money stake in one of our famous couples as we play the game of celebrity gossip, Tattletales. And here's the star of Tattletales, Bert Condé. Thank you, sir. Hello, is this... Uh Hello and welcome to Tattletales. You see, usually what I do is, is I come out and I get the microphone from a, a young lady or a woman and, and, and I get a little kiss for that. And, uh, come on. No, hold it. That's, uh, it's not that I, I don't want you to think that I am uh, in any way. Oh, no. Cut that out. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'll do, sir. Uh, we'll work this out, okay? Uh, what I'll do is... Uh, come over here a second. I'll say... Uh, is that okay? Thank you very much. Thank you very much, and welcome to Title Tales. He's not bad, you know that? I'm, uh, <laughs> no, I don't want to know. Okay, that starts us off with a bang, or with a kiss, anyway. It certainly is nice to meet you, sir, and thank you. And here's a gang going to win you a lot of money today for the blue section. Oh, Next. Never mind. The star of the Price is Right, Mr. Dennis James and his wife, Mickey. Just in a minute. Never mind. Winning money today for the banana section, Mr. Your Brock Peters and his wife, Dee Dee. <laughs> Winning money today for the red section, Richard Deacon and his gal from Mary Hartman, Mary Hartman, Dodie Goodman. Right on. Oh, yes. Well, I think we better move along, gang, because I've, <laughs> I've opened a can of peas there that I probably should not pursue. But he's kind of cute, though. you got to admit that. Yeah. You know where you got to I'm an made. Italian boy. We kiss our, all the time, men kiss well, Italians. I, I kissed him. Well, I'll we... kiss him later when you get a minute. Well, <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I'll find you for him. He'll be in the dressing room. Hold on a second. Here Bert, comes the first question, made. ladies. It's for you. It's worth $150 to your rooting sections. Ladies, you wear a new dress to a party. A woman you don't know very well is wearing the identical dress. The two of you joke about it. Then she tells you what she paid for the dress and asks what you paid for yours. You got yours at half the price. Would you tell her yes or no? Uh, think it over, ladies, and we'll find out in a moment. While they're out of the room, <laughs> what they don't know is backstage. We have three women dressed identically to them. No. Dennis, what will Mickey say to this? Would you... Uh, I, I don't think that she would tell her that she paid half price for hers. She wouldn't. She'd no, probably tell her her mother made it. <laughs> <laughs> They've been joking about it, by the way. There is no animosity, and she do, and she does know the lady. Well, there'd be animosity if my wife were to party and a woman had the same dress that she was wearing. There would be animosity. Oh, there would be, eh? Oh yes. Oh, I see. Oh yeah, she would never tell her it was half price. She wouldn't tell her. No. Why not? Simply because she wouldn't just tell her. She's the. See this watch? Yes. She bought this watch for me, and Michael, uh, um, no, no, our boy, a musical director on Price is Right. Michael Malone. Michael Malone got one for half price. Ooh. She's furious with me because I told her he got it half price. Oh. So I think she would not tell. Okay. I, I guess there's a logic there somewhere. Yeah, I'll there's be, logic. Darn if I can find it. Okay, you're going to say she would not tell. She the answer tell. is no. Here she comes. I got it. Vicky. Mm -hmm. Yes? You're at this party. Mm -hmm. Woman you don't know very well, wearing an identical dress, the two of you joke about it. She tells you what she paid for it and asks what you paid for yours. You got yours at half the price. Okay. Would you tell her well, yes or no? Why not? She's already spoiled my evening by wearing the same dress. <laughs> no. I might as well spoil hers oh, by no, telling her I got it at half said. price. But, but you a, see, there's but a, good a good reason. answer. Sure, a good answer. A good answer. <laughs> already spoiled her evening anyway. <laughs> might as well tell her. That's called gamesmanship, my dears. Sure what do you think, is. Brock? Will Didi pay, uh, do that? Well... Dee Dee, first of all, makes a lot of things. She's very handy with the needle and the sewing machine. And yes. uh, she's proud of that. Most times we walk in the store and she says, oh, I can make that. I bother buy it, you know. Really? And I suspect... Are you listening, Anne? Anne, are you listening? I suspect that uh, where bargains are concerned, she's really a headhunter. And she would probably say that she had paid uh, less for it. Really? Oh, okay. There's another line. Okay. All makes good sense, you see. Here comes Dee Dee. Dee Dee, you're at a party with a, and you see a woman you don't mm -hmm. know very well wearing the identical dress to yours. You joke about it. She tells you what she paid for hers. Ask what you paid for yours. You paid half the price. You're going to tell her yes or no? Brock would rather I wouldn't, but I would tell her and tell her. <laughs> That's exactly what the man said, and you got him. 
But not only that, I tell her where to go to get it and how to return the one she's got on. <laughs> oh, now that's love, isn't it? Thank you, Didi. Uh, what will Dodie do in a situation like this, Richard? I haven't the faintest idea. Do <laughs> you think Dodie does? No. No. Not until you ask her the question. I mean, she may change her mind in midstream there. I think she's too tasteful since you said they joked about it. I don't think that she would be, I don't think that she would hurt anybody's feelings. I would just, she'd say, well, isn't it marvelous? We have both the same great taste. Yes. And not but mine the is the original. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think she would, I don't think she'd mention she the price. She wouldn't mention the price. No. Here she comes. What are you? No, no, no. No revolution in the red section. The Reds are at it again. Dodie, mm -hmm. uh, you wear this new dress to a party. <clears throat> Lady you don't know very well has the same dress on. The two of you joke about it. She tells you what she paid. You paid half the price. Would you tell her yes or no? No. That's right. That's what Richard said. See? Dodie? Yeah? Dodie, why, would, why wouldn't you tell her? Well, um... Uh, first, it's none of her business. Oh. Uh, no, but I wouldn't want to make her feel bad. Ah, that's exactly what the man said. Yeah. On the button, you're right again, but the money stays the same. Dodie and Richard, Dee, Dee and, and Brock are correct. We split the opening question in half. We're coming back to question number two. In just a moment, won't you come back? That's a nice piece of today. See you then. This survey will interest your family. We asked doctors which of these two leading cold capsule formulas they preferred. Of the doctors expressing a preference, three times as many doctors chose the formula in Dristan capsules. That's right, the formula in Dristan capsules. Because the other formula contains an ingredient most of the doctors felt you may not need. Get the formula three times as many doctors preferred. Dristan capsules. Hey, that looks delicious. But how can you serve good food like this and still stay on our budget? It's Chef Boyardee beef ravioli, about 24 cents a serving. All these tender, beefy macaroni pies smothered in that tasty tomato sauce for about 24 cents? Yep, with the 40-ounce size. And it gives me more than five servings. It's even got meat in it. So I'm going to have some of the Chef Boyardee uh, ravioli, too. <laughs> I thought you would. <laughs> Chef Boyardee ravioli with beef, now about 24 cents a serving. Yes. Well, here we are. Question number two, and this is it, and it's worth $150 to the rooting sections. Ladies, it's for you. Ladies, what kind of movies do you enjoy more? Those that make you laugh, those that make you cry, or those that make you frightened? What kind of movie do you enjoy more? You might enjoy all of them. Which one more? Off you go. The choices are laugh, cry, or be frightened. Brock, we'll start with you. Frightened, I guess. Uh, no, don't oh. go by the reaction. <laughs> uh, laugh, cry, or frighten. Yes, sir. I see. Enjoy more. What kind of movies do you enjoy more? It's of me or for No, no, her? Dee Dee. I'm asking the lady. Oh, she enjoys, uh, cry and frighten, but, uh... <laughs> cry. Really? I'm going with them this time. Okay. I guess we all enjoy that. She likes uh, horror movies. Yeah, she Shoot. likes... What kind do you like? I like cry. You like to cry, too. It's a she... catharsis, really, to go in and feel something. Yeah. Good. All right, I fine. like the emotional... Sure, I, I do, too, as a matter of fact. Know. I love it. I cry at Bugs Bunny. What do I know? <laughs> okay, you'll say cry. Here she comes. Uh, what kind of movies do you enjoy more? Do you, those that make you laugh, those that Scared. make you cry, or Scared. Scared. No, Scared. that's not what he said. <laughs> Guess what he said. Tell me. Cry. Really? Those that make you cry. <laughs> is, he, is he pretty far off? It seems to be. Uh, no, well, I enjoy them all if they're good. Yeah. But I just thought that he, because he taught me to like horror movies. Oh. <laughs> What if she sees the flight of the maiden? Yes. Horror movie right there. He taught you to enjoy horror movies. Right. Okay. Is that true, bro? It's true. Why? Yeah. I mean, because Dee Dee never cared for that kind of film before? No, she didn't. And uh, I tried to show her the virtues of a good horror movie. <laughs> I, and I think it. I succeeded. You, talk, you so sure did. I didn't know Too I well, did so well. <laughs> as a matter of fact, Richard, what would Dodie say? What would she enjoy more? I don't know what Dodie will say, but uh, she loves to laugh. And I took her to one of my serious movies, and she laughed all the way through it. Laughed all the way. Yeah. 
So I would have to say, because of her joie de vivre, whatever yes. the hell that is, it's, uh, that she likes to laugh. Laugh. A lot. Okay. Here comes Dodie. We'll find out in a minute. Dodie, what kind of movies do you enjoy more? Those that make you laugh, those that make you cry, or those that make you frightened? Um, I enjoy a good cry. No, Richard said laugh. Oh, well, because you can't get that kind much anymore. That's true. What do you mean? You go out with me, don't you? <laughs> of, the, of the kind that make you cry. Either I'm, I, it seems to me I used to cry a lot more at movies. I like that. Either that or I'm getting older and calloused. No, no, no. I don't think you're uh, older and calloused at all. I like a, a good cry movie. Yeah, I, think, I do too. I think everybody does. I it. think it's as important as one that you laugh at a lot. Yes, I think it is too. I definitely do. But I guess I would prefer for right now a crying movie. Yeah, okay. Well, I, I hope you see a good crying movie soon, Dodie. That's what I help. And I, and I thank you, you too. Can't win. I, 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 it's, yes, now I know how Jack Parr felt. Uh, <laughs> Mickey, what will... <laughs> I mean, what will uh, Mickey say, Dennis? <laughs> You're going to see a grown man cry if we miss this one, because we could win the whole thing right on this That's question. That's right, you get the whole thing for the blue section now, right here. Now, if you were watching the show this week, you heard her say she likes to laugh. But my theory is that in a moving picture, she doesn't like the slapstick comedy. She loved Magnificent Obsession. She loved uh, Brian's song. I say she'd rather cry. Rather cry. Okay, cry it is. Here comes Mickey. That's what it's been. Uh, Mickey, what kind of movies do you enjoy more? And by the way, you can get the whole thing for the blue section here. Those that make you laugh, those that make you cry, or those that make you frightened? She left love stories out altogether. How about a funny love story? Laugh. No. He said cry. I don't like to cry. Yeah. Well, maybe now, don't like to cry. Yeah, guess what? All three sections are crying right now, as a matter of fact. I never saw so many tears. <laughs> All right, don't worry about it. This $150 goes over to the next one, making it worth $300. We'll play for it after a halftime. Gentlemen, step to the rear. We'll bring the ladies out front, and then we'll be back with the second half of that. So what kind of movies do you like? Crying, laughing, fighting. Have you heard of the outrageous ways some women use Johnson's baby lotion? Guess what? I even shave with Johnson's instead of soap and water. So I get a close shave and soft legs. And what's another way women use Johnson's baby lotion? I wash my face with Johnson's, so now I have clean, soft freckles. There are lots of ways to help save your softness with Johnson's baby lotion from Johnson & Johnson. You know me, Mr. Cholesterol. Nice of you to have me for dinner. Serving any of my favorites, bacon and eggs, cream sauce, butter. Hey, that's Fleischmann's margarine. The only leading margarine made from 100% corn oil. It's got no cholesterol, zero, and it's high on polyunsaturates. It even tastes good. Fleischmann's margarine, great for low cholesterol modified fat diets. 100% corn oil, 0% cholesterol. In addition to cash awards, a member of the winning rooting section chosen at random will receive Bissell's easy-to-use Fin Foam Rug Shampoo and Wall-to-Wall -wall Concentrated Shampoo for superbly cleaner, brighter carpets from Bissell and a membership to the Montgomery Ward Auto Club, which provides protection and 24-hour service, offering benefits no other auto club can match. Darling, join my club. And a tray and a supply of rice a -roni. Big flavor side dish that's so quick, so easy. Saute and simmer to flavor perfection. rice a -roni, the San Francisco treat. And a cutlery set and a supply of red and white frozen orange juice concentrate grade a extra fancy with natural vitamin c quality foods from red and white back to more tattletales in just a moment plain meat and plain potatoes make for a plain meal so when my budget calls for a plain meat i dress it up with betty crocker au gratin potatoes tender slices of real russet potato and a golden smooth cheddary sauce rich and tangy so good with frankfurters hamburger or chicken great meal mom take a plain meat and make the whole meal not so plain with betty crocker on rotten potatoes one of five plain meat potatoes from betty crocker 
Presenting Betty Crocker Cake and Frosting. Betty Crocker Frosting. Superb spreadability. Rich, smooth, creamy. It's the crowning touch. And in the world of Devil's Food Cakes, one stands alone. Betty Crocker. A Betty Crocker Devil's Food Cake tastes deliciously moist. Tests show it tastes better than the other leading Devil's Food Cake mix. Betty Crocker Cake and Frosting. Why make anything less? What he does. Well, this after halftime, as you can see, because I have three lovely ladies with me. This question is worth $300, fellas, because no one got the other one, the last one right. And then we'll play for another $300 question. So it's a lot of money up for grabs, which makes it fun for your rooting section. Ben, you're going to star in an independent film produced by a very nice man. He's so nice. How oh, nice is he? Had to be that. He tells you to name your own salary. Pretty nice. Would you ask him for less money than usual because he's such a nice man, or more than usual because he's such a dummy? No, no, because, <laughs> or more than usual because he opened the door for you. What would you do? Now think about it because it isn't as simple as it might sound. He said, name your own price. Off you go. He's a nice guy. Uh, we have to think about what kind of people these fellas are. And you're dealing with a nice fella. Dodie, what will Richard say? Um... Well, I think he'd try to get as much as he could get. Why? Uh, well, uh, well, you always have to negotiate no matter where you go. So you might as well uh, negotiate with a nice guy as well as a son of a gun. Right. That's yeah. true. It is a business we're talking yes. about. Yes. I would say he would get as much, he would uh, negotiate for as much as he could get from him. Yes. Nice or not nice. Nice or not nice. Right. It just makes it easier if he's nice. Yes. All right. Good reason. Here comes Richard. Richard, you're going to uh, do a picture for this fellow. Independent film produced by a very nice man. He tells you to name your own salary. Would you ask him for less money than usual because he's a nice man or more than usual because he opened the door for you? I have a very nice agent, but I'd like to help him along, and this would be my one chance to do it. I'd ask for more. That's right. That's what the lady said. Okay. This is, uh, this is interesting because, what, you know, you've been faced with this situation in many different ways. All of you have, and all of your husbands have, of course. You haven't, Richard? Not many nice guys, eh? Well, it's tough. No, it's the truth. You know, it is tough. Uh, I wait. haven't been, even been offered an X-rated movie. Not an X-rated movie? Well, who knows? Maybe looking in today will be some fellow who'll give you a call. Please. See? Okay. <laughs> Vicki, what will Dennis say? Uh, the operative word is <laughs> independent. Yes, produced. an independent film produced by a very yes, nice man. I think he would ask for less because he's a nice man and he would want to help him out. And he would ask it for less. For him. He would really? ask for less. All right. He yes. would ask for less to help He's the guy out. He's been a producer himself. He's been in that position. So he knows what it's like to be a producer. Right. Okay. Well, if he ever produces a, an X-rated movie, would he call Richard, please? Because <laughs> right. Richard would like to hear from him. You're going to say he'll ask for less. Here comes right. Dennis yeah. now. <laughs> Dennis, you're going to star in an independent film produced by a very nice man. He's so nice, he tells you to name your own salary. Would you ask for less or would you ask for more? I'm still working on Love Story, which was a four-handkerchief picture. Yes, true. I would ask for more. No, maybe he said less. Why would you ask for, why'd you say that? Because it's interesting. She, why would I ask for more? Yes, because sir. we negotiate for the best contracts we can possibly make. She always negotiates with me. She always asks for more. <laughs> right? We always make, it has nothing to do whether he's a nice guy or not. Careers are not built on the fact that he's a nice guy. I've worked for a lot of horrible men in my life. Yes. And got less. And therefore, if he's a nice guy, I'm going to get more. Yeah, right. But the blue section is going to get nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're going to do fine. we got another big question coming up, too. <laughs> Didi, what will Brock say? See, it's a good question, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Uh, it actually happened to us. And um, we asked for the top of what we thought Brock could get, the absolute top, which happened to be more than he had gotten up to that date. And I think he would do that. It's a business. And did he get it? Oh, yeah. Oh, he did? Yeah. Okay. But it, his thinking would be also that uh, a producer is a producer. And if he asked for too much, the guy would bring him down to yes. a figure that was reasonable. That's true, that's, too. Yeah, it's a business. It, that's right. Yeah. You mustn't forget that. It is a business. Here comes Brock. Brock, you're going to star in this independent film for, produced by a very nice man. He's so nice, he tells you, 
claim your own salary, would you ask for less than usual or more than usual? You gave me the opportunity to name my price. I would think I should name something commensurate with what I would be worth and would probably name my price. And wh what does that mean, more than usual or less than usual? More. That's right. You got it. Judy and Brock and Dodie and Richard get it and split it in half. And that's good game play. We'll come back in a moment with the $300 question and find out who wins for the day. What would you do, huh? Get it, get it. Do you know you always have a delicious red topping within reach? You do if you had dream up on your shelf while I plan ahead. This is your dream with Betty time. We have the delicious just whipped taste and spice cake and apple pie and chocolate pudding whenever we want. And tonight we're topping strawberry. With Dream Whip Whip Topping Mix on your shelf, delicious desserts are always within reach. Mmm, smells good. Oh, what some folks won't do for a cup of instant Maxwell House coffee. Didn't know Winston could smell that fresh. Not just instant. Instant Maxwell House. Taste, Birdman. Mmm, that's fresh. It's these flavor buds. That's where the freshness starts. Every cup tastes fresh like your first cup in the morning. Maxine, who are you talking to? Myself. I was saying, how can you get a fresher cup of coffee than instant Maxwell House? What's the most fun about having tacos? Making them. Eating them. Making them. Eating them. Ortega has what you need to make tacos at home. Take an Ortega taco shell, add meat you prepared with Ortega seasoning, then cheese, lettuce, and tomatoes. Top with Ortega taco sauce. I like making them. And then eating them. Ortega tacos. Fun to make, fun to eat. I sell Avon, and I can do great things for your looks. You, you never look so good. You, you never look so good. Barbara, give me some advice. Okay. Remember you told me to play up the color of my eyes? Sure do. And here's your answer. That's why candid colors are so great on you. You like it, Katie? With Avon, you never look so good. Hello. Hello. This question is worth $300, and this will decide the issue for the day. Gentlemen, we have two-thirds of a tie. However, Dennis, you can still win this. This question is worth $300, even though you have El Zippo on the board. I got El Zippo up there, too. If you're the only one that comes through here, you can win it. And this is the question, fellas. Men, what usually stays more vivid in your memory? Something good that happens to you or something bad that happens to you? What stays more vivid in your memory? Good question, and off you go. And we'll start with you, Mickey. Let's see if there's going to be well, something good. Well, here I go again. <laughs> <laughs> here we are again. Here after 25 years. Here we are. Okay, I'm still, I was going to say something bad. Something Please bad stays in the memory. It has to do, you know, it has to do with, say, fan mail. Yeah. The only letter you remember is the bad one. He doesn't get, remember the good ones as much as the bad ones. You get 500 good ones and you get one bad one and it will bother him. I, yeah, that's true. Well, I guess that's my reasoning. That's really true. You know, it also goes with reviews. Of and course. You always remember the bad reviews. Yes, but as time goes on, uh, those sort of wear away, I think. You think so? And you... Mm. You remember the bad ones? <laughs> no. No, you don't remember the bad ones. I didn't ask you yet, though, did I? <laughs> You're going to say he will say the That's bad things. Say. Here he comes. <laughs> May, uh, Dennis, what usually stays more vivid in your memory? Something good that happens to you or something bad that happens to you? It's not possible to do the show all by yourself without one of them. <laughs> no, no, you oh. need a partner to do oh, this. Oh, you have to have one. Okay. <laughs> I would say... <laughs> So I'm losing the whole blue section. I would say what's good. No. Boy, but when you bet a thousand, you bet a thousand. You know what I mean? But I'm not, I'm not pitching. I'm catching. <laughs> it's a battery up here. Yeah, well, okay. Um, today is something bad that will live in your memory, probably. Uh, Evie, what will Brock say? Uh, good. Good things stay yeah. more vivid in his memory? Good. D don't you agree? I mean, the guy... Yeah. Um, yeah. Why is that? What's good? Why is that with Brock, do you think? Um, yeah, because he's not working for what's bad. And that, uh, he's, uh, he also, he's very positive. Yes. Very positive approach to things. Right. And he strongly believes that keeping any kind of bitterness inside is 
negative and it's debilitating. Right. So get rid of it and think, get rid of it think and good, go positive on. thoughts. Also, when he gets great reviews, he likes to quote them. Yeah. And he will quote them. And he will quote them. Yeah. And quote them. Okay. Yeah. Here comes Brock. Brock, what usually stays more vivid in your memory? Something good that happens to you or something bad that happens to you? Well, the peaks in my life have kept me going, both in the career and in life. So I'd say good. That's correct, sir. You got it. Oh, boy. Oh, Brock, you're tough to beat, I tell you. Yes, you're on the line. And he's tough to carry, too. I had to carry him the last time we worked together. <laughs> He weighs 192 pounds or whatever it is. My Tell him again. Tell oh, him I couldn't again. lift him. I was yeah. terrible. Dodie, what's Richard going to say? Um, Richard is going to say, uh, because I think it's a well-known fact for everybody that the good, you remember good long. It's the bad things peak you for the moment, but then they fade away, and you remember only the uh, good things. It's true. You know, one thing I just thought of, too, you do forget pain. That's true. We uh -huh. don't retain pain, do we? We do yeah. forget eventually what pain is like. So you're going to say the good thing. Yes. Let's see what he says. Richard, this will decide the game for the day. I don't want you to tense up now. <laughs> Might what decide my future with her, too. Yes. <laughs> That's correct. What usually stays more vivid in your memory? Something good that happens to you or something bad that happens to you? I think uh, negative thoughts should be discarded. And so I think positively and I think of happy things. That's right. That's what the lady said. You got it. Dodie and Richard and Dee and Brock still get it. Split that three. And we have a tie. The bananas and the reds. Right down to the wire. We'll come back in a moment. And split whatever the bananas and the reds have wanted. It's not bad. Please just a moment. What Loose spots. Loose spots. Those tiny gaps between dentures and gums that can lead to loose dentures. Today's answer, Fixident, a plastic cream discovery that revolutionized denture holding. Fixident spreads so smoothly, so evenly it can fill those gaps. Forms such a strong overall hold, it helps eliminate loose spots. So eat, talk, laugh with more security. Fixident helps eliminate loose spots. Square Meal Brand Cat Food presents Harry. Hey, this is my stuck in the tree act. And it always gets me some square meal from the fire chief. Harry, you old con artist. Uh-oh, he's on to my act. <laughs> Bet you want some square meal soft moist cat food. But it's working. Three flavors in every meal. The jackpot. Tuna, chicken, and egg flavor. Square meal brand from Nine Lies. The only soft moist cat food in resealable cans. A tree act plays so fine. The big winners, the bananas and the reds with $375. We had a thousand to divide. One thousand seven hundred and fifty big ones. Thank you, everybody. You are marvelous. And thank you for watching us on Tad Uphill's Bird Comics. Say it so long. See you next time. Thank you. This is Gene Wood speaking for Tattledale. A Mark Goodson, Bill Costin production. A young woman's attempt to expose corrupt filmmakers ends in death and a target for Mike Andros. Why did Dee Dee leave the club? Dee Dee made pornos. Mike Andros takes aim. They tried to set me up with a minor in front of a two-way mirror. Andros targets premiering Monday, January 31st at 10, 9 Central. Funny and Cher bring you a Friday night delight with guests William Conrad, Ruth Buzzy, Barbie Benton, and Engelbert Humperdinck. Sunny and share excitement. Now Friday. Tonight at 9, 8 Central on CBS.